Are you an emotion code or body code practitioner? Or are you thinking about being one? And you're wondering, well, where does how do you get business? How do you make money? Well, guess what? Today's episode is uh, part four, the four part series on relationships, very specific relationships. The relationship of the emotion code, body code practitioner, from now on, we're just gonna see emotion code practitioners. So I don't have to say all five words. So I'm, today we're gonna to talk about the emotion code practitioner and the very first step in them attracting a client. And you know what it's called? It's not called a client. John, it's called a? a prospect. It's called a prospect. Just like you were prospecting for gold, you need to prospect for the ideal client. Hello and good morning, everybody. This is half of the Emotion Code Bro Show. We are here live every week. I was gonna say every Saturday, every week. Yeah, we can say that, that is true. We're here every week. My name is Michael Loche. I'm a certified Emotion Code practitioner. And I'm also like the practitioner's business practitioner. And uh, today you're gonna understand that why. And I'm with my bro, John, what? Well, first, 81. So John's been joining me for 81 episodes. We've put this on together, usually on Saturdays. John Inverarity, good morning. Introduce yourself to our new friends today. Hey everyone, yes, my name's John Inverarity, certified emotion code, body code practitioner. I live in Vancouver and help people all over the world uh, with aches and pains, like chronic pain, mental health concerns, and business owners as, as well. Uh, you know, attracting more clients, building their business, increasing income. Yeah. And yeah, episode 81, uh, we're doing a, a sort of a midweek or a Friday show here is zero way on, on Saturday yeah. and uh, the next three, actually, we have some different times coming up. So um, yeah, stay tuned. And we have a night version, you know, yeah. we're kind of sprinkling it around. I'm on the road uh, for a few weekends. So I think you said February 6, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Won't that be fun? Now, yeah. I like to go to bed early, so it's going to be a stretch for me. So the visual part of me, I have to change my picture well in advance. On the 6th, I'm uh, uh, changing up my routine. I'm excited because we'll have people that never got us to see live, never got to see us live before. Yeah. And John and I are here every week, and we are on episode number, I think, 70. And every week we talk about the keys to the emotion code process and uh, we have a lot of practitioners watching the show and they're sometimes mesmerized on how we do it and they say how fast we are. Well, it's all practice. And we also appreciate all the one-on-one -on -one emails and compliments that you give us and how we've inspired. So today, if we inspired you to become an emotion code practitioner or even consider it, just let us know there because you know one of my goals in life is to influence people in a positive way. Boy, would that ever get my needs met? Knowing that I influenced you in such a way the show influenced you, what we do here influenced you. But today you can sit back and relax because today is for emotion code practitioners and body code practitioners and how to actually start to build your client base. You know, when you take the practitioner's program, John, one of the requirements is to work with for free. How many people was that again? Uh, I believe it was, it was 30 or 26 people and four pets. That's right, 26 yeah. people, four pets. Yeah, while you're practicing, it's part, it's one of the phases in Dr. Bradley's uh, Emotion Code Practitioner Program. And, you know, and they're usually your family and friends if you can convince them, really. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's a challenge to, and you're doing it for free, of course. And then you do that to build your expertise and you have to, you know, it's part of the graduation and, you know, your certification. Right. And then the reality hits. I just met somebody at a coffee shop. <laughs> And I'm trying to explain what the emotion code is. Mm, that did not go too well, right? Right, yeah. Yeah. So we're good at that. If you've been watching the bro show for the last 70, we're good at explaining what the emotion code process is. We do it like the seven keys. I can teach you how to do that in front of a live audience, but even to answer the question, so what do you do? So today we want to talk about the very first piece in your business. Everybody talks about, oh, I'd like more clients, more clients. Well. You know what, we said it earlier, but before that person is a client, they're a prospect. So I, uh, so today, uh, John is gonna choose one practitioner. If you're watching today, shout out. Uh, John's gonna work with someone today. John has a business program, a uh, business protocol package, and he's gonna take uh, part of that out. And John, can you tell us, uh, so we're gonna have a volunteer. They're gonna be an emotion code practitioner. Today, we're talking about prospects. That is the entry to all business. 
A prospect means somebody you just met or somebody that emailed. It could be at a coffee shop and network. It could be on Instagram. A prospect, it's like prospecting for gold. You're prospecting for an ideal client, but they don't become clients first. They become prospects first. And tell, tell people what you, uh, uh, tell us what you're going to help a practitioner with today. Go ahead, please. Yeah, so we're going to uh, help a practitioner uh, attract or meet a new ideal prospect. And we want a number in mind, right? You can't just say, oh, I want to meet, you know, meet new people, right? Meet new yeah. uh, prospects. No, we need a number. We need a goal, you know, set a number. Is it, you know, 10 people a week or is it 100? Whatever it may be. And then I'll test to see if you are um, in line with that agreement. Yeah. And likely not. So I'm going to test the severity of resistance yeah. to that, that agreement, that, that goal. Yeah, you see, and, and then and, uh, and what yeah. John? Yeah, because John, we've we've done that with ourselves. You know, our conscious mind says, "Well, yes, I'd love to have ten prospects a week. Of course, I want that." But that, that's your conscious mind, and it is certainly not the boss. So the subconscious right. mind is one that holds the decisions. What you said. So you might say that you want it, but if your subconscious mind saying you don't believe it, guess who wins? Yes, the, the strength boss. of the subconscious mind. The boss right. wins. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to be helpful for whoever we're going to choose today. Yeah. So yeah, in the comments, got to be watching live, volunteer, and uh, yeah, we'd like you to be emotion code or body code practitioner as well. Yeah. And what's what's your goal of uh, how many people you want to meet or attract a week? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put a little LOA style, law of attraction style to this exercise today. I could not not. I mean, I am the boss. Well, you know, they're like best friends, right? Yeah, I am the law of attraction boss. So here's what we're going to call it. We're not going to say a prospect. We're going to call them ideal prospects. Boy, that feels better. Because a prospect might be 25 people meeting them at the trade show tomorrow. Well, to me, that's friends. <laughs> an ideal prospect becomes an ideal customer. So you see how I'm filtering that just with my words? So today... Uh, John's going to help somebody that wants to attract a certain amount of ideal prospects. John, let's go say hello to our friends, starting with Doug Collins. Hello. Uh, now, Doug likes that he got the mail this morning, so he's on our mailing list. You can go to hangoutwithmichael.com and sign up from there. Um, and uh, we're letting people know like 30 minutes before the show starts. Uh, our loyal top fan, Natasha Paula Samuels, with us. And as usual, looking forward to another Razzle Joe show, and she's glad to be watching live. Who else, Joe? Hey, yeah, Holly Pittis is here. Hi, happy to be here for a, uh, for a time uh, during a work break. Hope you guys are both doing well. So there's probably a lot of people just sneaking away from work right now, right in the middle of the day. <laughs> I won't tell anyone. Yes. And Sylvia Bellini, boy, she's loyal. She is giving up her celebrity antique show in London tonight. Ooh. Hashtag that. better record it. <laughs> Not us. The Antique Road Show. Hey, Sarah Tidwell, also from the UK, is giving us love from the UK. Thank you, Sarah. And right around the corner is Barbara Rowing. Good evening, bros, from the cold UK. Okay, Barbara's with us today. Mona Saunderson's with us today. Okay, Delilah Cordova. Uh, Carol's here. Carol Backlig says, I'm here, multitasking. Uh, too bad you won't be able to visit me at the Vancouver Wellness Show, February 2nd and 3rd. Hey, maybe they can do both. If you're in Vancouver, visit Carol. If you're in Calgary the same weekend, I am giving two presentations, Saturday, 1 o'clock, Law of Attraction, Sunday, 2.25, come early, The Emotion Code, live, bringing people to the front of the room, healing their chronic pain. Yeah, hashtag, it's real. It's real. So good morning to Carol. Linda McIntyre is from Ireland. Hey, Linda, nice to have you with us. Who else, John? Uh, Kareem Beach Murray's here. This is good morning. Uh, and also says, very grateful uh, to, you, to both of you as I found about, out about Motion Code and turned into a practitioner. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, that's awesome. very nice to hear. Yeah. Well, good, John. Uh, Delilah's helping me out today. We made the first post. Now, today I've got three free resources for practitioners. John and I are also going to be taking your questions about 
that you might, you know, maybe even peeking in and noticing how we're running our business successfully, you might have a question about that. So today is, I got three free training videos for practitioners. John's going to work with the practitioner live on the air today. And if you have any questions about your practice and how any ideas you need from us or anything, you know, how do you guys do this? What do you do? And we're talking about the admin part of building this business. Okay, so the first thing I have for you is that I have an eight-part video series, and it's for Emotion Code Body Pro practitioners, and it is the starter kit. And it's the words that you need to understand. It's also how to answer the question, so what do you do? It's also how to use law of attraction so you can attract your ideal prospect and your ideal customer. And it's all about the words and the words that stimulate people's interest in you so they get it and they understand it. So, oh, you'd like the first class for free, would you? Well, you're in luck. Uh -huh. uh, inside the post, I'll give, well, there's two addresses, the same address, but if you go to hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash eight, the digit eight session, you can watch the first training words. It's a video training, and uh, I will burn those images in your head forever, and you'll catch, your start, you'll catch yourself start using them. Okay, John, who else is saying hello? I think we have, might have a volunteer here. Uh, Anna uh, Roca says, I'll be a prospect. And okay, um, we're looking for, oh, yeah, she'll be a prospect. I wonder if she understands that. It's kind of a joke. Is she joking? Because it's funny. <laughs> It'd be, it'd be like, we are looking for prospects. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, Anna's here. She's back. She's saying seven. So why don't you write that down, John? Anna, R-O-C-H-A. She'd like seven prospects a week. That's interesting. Yeah. Ideal ones, remember. We're going to call them that. Seven ideal prospects a week. Listen, if you have a question for John and I about... Uh, the uh, about being an emotion code practitioner, you know, earning money, exchanging your talent for money, uh, how we do things, why we do things. This is a great opportunity to get some feedback from us. John's going to be working with uh, what's your name, John? Anna. Anna. Yeah. So here's Anna. She just wrote a note. She said she's Anna from Toronto. Uh, say, uh, Michael. She got my email today. And this is so amazing how this all came together. I, she just learned about the emotion code and reading the book and started an online business in our community. And we're all about the law of attraction. 10K of us in there. Woohoo. I'd love to peek my head in there, Anna. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, our friend Erin is watching us live today. She's glad that she can watch us live. Yep. And we want to welcome Bob uh, Ranclev to the Business Growth Club, John. Uh, he just joined this week. He goes, I'm halfway through my free sessions to get certified with Dr. Bradley Nelson. It's going great. And I just joined Michael's Business Growth Club to learn more about marketing, et cetera. Uh, well, John, you know, uh, Bob, rather, while we're there, while we're talking about my monthly growth club, do you want to take a peek inside our first session where I taught emotion code practitioners how to build an awesome friggin' business card. And guess what? It doesn't have probably the word emotion code on it. And guess what? It's your silent salesperson. Guess what? It's two sided. Guess what? I'm going to supply you with all those words and everything that you might want to say so you can attract business. Oh, you'd like that for free, would you? Well, guess what? I you would. Can you can have it. Um, you can go to hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash growth club and you can sign up. We'll send you that video and business cards. Take notes, and notice if the, if the languaging on that card stimulates you. It is a silent salesperson, and it works. And I'm bringing 300 of them to the trade show tomorrow. So, Bob, thanks for the shout out. John, you let me know uh, when you want to get started, and um, you know, uh, maybe a quick little seven keys behind me I have a list of 60 trapped emotions. This is the work of Dr. Bradley Nelson. And the beliefs that we hold are unprocessed negative emotions that are caught, that we had an event in our life where we had an unprocessed negative emotion that's causing us to have that belief. And the belief in this case, John, can I have seven prospects a week? The conscious mind, you know, the little tiny piece, says yes. But the conscious, unconscious mind, that's the boss, is saying, well, You'd like to have that, but here's the reasons why you can't. And what are the reasons? 
Not okay. They're trapped emotions. Yeah. The reasons are trapped emotions. So John's going to become the proxy of Anna. That yeah. means with her permission, he is going to connect with her subconscious mind. He's going to say, what is causing me to believe that I can't have seven? Now, Q law of attraction. On this hand, you say you want to have seven. And on this hand, you don't believe it. Guess who wins? The don't believe it wins. So when you get rid of the negative vibration, which is the doubt, then the positive vibration, which is the desire, doesn't have anything diluting it. And the only way to attract anything is to purely send the vibration of what you want. And purely means without sticks and stones or negative vibrations. Okay, John, let us know when you're ready. Yeah, so I'm just going to tune in, connect up to Anna now from Toronto. Okay. All right, so tune in, connect up Anna, proxy. Yeah, so I'm muscle testing, just using my fingers here in my lap. So I have my water with me. Everyone saw that. Well yeah. hydrated. That's key. Okay, so a uh, goal for meeting or attracting ideal prospects is seven. Uh, are you in alignment with this goal? Here, Anna. No. Okay, so there's resistance to being in alignment with this goal. Yeah, the resistance is eight out of ten. So the severity, we're starting at 8 out of 10. That's quite a bit of resistance, right? <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go through some beliefs here and ask, okay, to uh, meet and attract ideal prospects? No, do you believe you can? Anna, no, is it safe to? No, are you worthy to? No, so I got to uh, note all four of those. So is there a trapped emotion we can identify and clear? Uh, to help reduce uh, and eliminate this resistance to attracting seven or more ideal prospects. Yeah. Okay, column A, no. So it's in column B, yes. Is it an odd row? No. So it's an even row? Yes. So B2, yes. Four, no. Six, no. Okay, so B2, what do we have here? So the first one, no. Second one, yeah. Third, fourth, fifth, no. Helplessness. So Anna has this, this vibe of helplessness that she's sending out, you know, believing that's, you know, part of her subconscious. And we're going to clear it. So just let that go. Okay, is that cleared out? Yeah. Good. Is there, uh, what's the severity now? Is it an eight, seven, six? So another trappy motion. Blocking you from being okay, believing, being safe, worthy to attract seven or more ideal prospects per week. Another trapped emotion. Column A, no, B, yes, odd, no, even, yeah. Two, four, six. Okay, is it the first? Is it first emotion? No. Second, yeah. Third, no, so it's shame. Yeah. Okay, need to know more? So if you're watching, yeah, I'm just going to let, let our friends, yeah. so if you're watching live for the first time or you just tuned in and uh, you maybe not seen the process done before, John is working with somebody in another country without them being present on the video and he has become their proxy. That means with their permission, he and he is able, so another key, he has, the, he has Anna's permission to check in with her subconscious mind, become her proxy. And you can't see it, but he's using muscle testing. So, so he's using his finger and his muscles go weak when it's a no and they stay strong when it's a yes. And what he's doing, he's scanning the chart by finding out where it's at. And yeah, when he chart finds right it, here. that chart, yeah, that, that's muscle testing because he's working on behalf of Anna says, that's the one right there. And boy, when he gets find it, when he finds it, his job is to delete it. And he does that through a magnet. So that's what you're saying. He's reading the chart. He's swiping the magnet, getting rid of each one. He's checking his work. Yeah, so that's cleared. Yeah, just cleared sorrow, which also means regret. Yeah. Actually, I think Anna here is from Toronto. Yeah, same country. Yeah, that's right, too. Yeah, she's from Toronto. Yeah. Okay. We have Laura Hills watching us from New Zealand. So, John, you can keep working on that. I just want to say hello to our friends. Yeah, say hello. Laura Hills from New Zealand. That's awesome. I'm not sure what time it is there. Uh, Linda McIntyre, she said, oh, I need the business card. Yeah. Uh, Linda, can you put this in the chat, maybe under your question there? 
hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash growth club, and that'll get you that free thing. Hey, Helen Morgan's joined us. Good morning, Helen. Kareem Beach Murray's Michael course was wonderful. I loved it, and I would recommend it to anyone. Okay, okay just clear defensiveness. So that's four emotions, I believe, gone, but who's okay. counting? Okay, the severity is six out of ten or higher. Still a six. Okay, all right. So another trapped emotion. Three or five. Self abuse. That's a good one. Self abuse. So just being hard on yourself, beating yourself up. Yeah, negative self talk. Yeah. Good. Uh, Farzane from Dubai has joined us this morning, John. So that's nice to see her there. Norma Zambesco has also joined us. Love you. Thank you, Norma. Hey, Norma. And uh, yeah, some great friends out today. Okay, low self esteem. Don't need that, so clear that. Cleared? Yeah. Three Tanya out of ten. Aisha has joined us today. Hi, it's your first time giving us a wave. I have problems getting myself to find prospects. Okay, then absolutely go to the page to download the free class, and that is at uh, hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash the digit eight sessions. Eight session, singular. And that's a great place to start. So I just found a trapped emotion of fear. There's okay. some heavy hitters here in this session for Anna. Yeah, we got fear, low self-esteem, helpless, sorrow, shame. It's not pretty. It's not a high vibe zone here. <laughs> yeah, it's not the love chart, okay? Hashtag, it's not the love chart. Maybe a couple more here I'll clear out. Okay. Defensiveness. So being on yeah, the defensive that might not be guard, a good vibe to have around, is it? Clear that. To track prospects. Yeah. Yeah, so Anna, your homework, you know, John's loosening up your resistance right now with the emotion code. Yeah. And uh, come back in a week and let us know anything that you noticed, any changes that you have. Again, if you're a practitioner, we are up on episode number 81. So if you want to uh, get inspired about all the different things you can be working with your clients on, go back and um, look at our playlist. We've done subjects on everything. And today, we're doing a special episode for uh, practitioners. So, John, in Vancouver, you and I uh, did the presentation. And tomorrow, Sunday, Helena and I are doing it in Victoria. And it's called The Seven Keys to the Emotion Code Process. And it is a emotion code sales presentation that I created to Captain Obvious, give a sales presentation about becoming an emotion code prospect. So the room is not full of clients, they're full of what? They're full of prospects. Yeah. The room is full of pros, oh, just pros, no, they're ideal prospects. People coming to the presentation are interested in the emotion code, they are ideal prospects. And my job is to make sure that I'm explaining the emotion code process. That's why we developed the seven keys and that people are getting to see it so they get to trust us. And John, you remember in Vancouver, we brought people to the front of the room and we completely removed the pain they were having live in front of everybody. Well, Helene and I are going to do that on Sunday. So we fulfilled the practitioner's most important asset is for them to practice and understand the know, like, and trust. You want to know more about that? I got a free video on that too. This is the third video for you guys. Go to hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash seven keys. And I will give you a video called the know, like, and trust where I explain. And for those of you that have hired John and I, you just didn't do it out of the blue. You had to trust us. But before you trust us, you needed to like us. And before you liked us, you needed to get to know us. So uh, I will teach you a lot that you need to know about Zig Ziglar's famous know, like, and trust. And then you can start up. So what are you going to do to have people know you, like you, and trust you? Guess what? The seven keys is a perfect fit to do that. Okay, John, an update from you. All done. So I got the severity down to a zero. So what that means is that Anna is now um, she's okay to meet and attract uh, seven ideal prospects. Uh, she believes she can, she's safe to, and she's worthy enough, subconsciously. Oh, wow. 
Yeah. You know, yeah, if we talk about law of attraction, Q law of attraction, that's why we did the episode called Law of Attraction, Emotion Code, Our Best Friends. You can wish and want all you want, but if you have negative vibrations of doubt and disbelief, they dilute the positive vibration of the desire. And the speed at which you attract anything isn't determined how much you want it. It's determined on how much doubt and resistance and trapped emotions you have that are stopping and blocking you from receiving it. Hashtag. Isn't that wonderful? So, so simple, isn't it? Yeah. Hashtag simple. Linda McIntyre said, I listen to you every day. Boy, it uplifts my vibe. Or it lifts my vibe up. That's nice to hear. Okay, Lisa Gentiles joined us. Good morning, Lisa. Uh, it's 8 a.m. Saturday in New Zealand. Oh, it's a perfect time for you. Well, I don't know if it's a perfect time for you. It must be. You're here. Well, welcome. 8 a.m. in New Zealand. Probably nice and warm as well. Yes. Yeah, so uh, Anna says, OMG, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely glad you can, uh, you joined us here, Anna, and are, you know, in the in the high vibe zone. And, the uh, high vibe zone. Now you, yeah, here. you know lots about emotion code. You know more now. You had a session. You know, you're into law of attraction. Uh, that's good. Life is good. So keep optimistic. Yeah. Drink lots of water. And uh, yeah, if you're watching live, please share. Share this with your friends, you know your groups with your friends yes particularly if you know if you know any emotion code practitioners or anybody interested in really i want to be their i want to be their mentor i want to be their support person i want to help them grow a business i understand the 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 the, um, the apprehension and the discomfort and boy imagine using emotion code to get rid of all that and then having all the right words and skills what a beautiful marriage that is you see, a lot of people are learning how to build a business and do this and do this and do this. And then they have all the BS that's blocking and stopping them. You've got the magic wand. Here's what to say and do and know. And here's the blocks and resistance you, that you'll know. I said, wow, I've got a lot of resistance to turn phone calls. Get, get your magnet out. You know, we can do that. What a, what a gift that a practitioner can remove the blocks that's stopping them from building the business. And if yours was, if yours was, I don't know where to get started. Well, start with me and start with the programs that we offer today. Also, give yourself a specific emotion code session on creative insecurity. And John, why would that come in handy for someone that's wanting to start or launch a business or take the business to the next step? Why, why do we recommend a creative insecurity session? Well, yeah, it could be uh, so significant in that it's uh, like insecure about creating something new. So a new path, new project, new goals you know, new endeavors, um, you know, new marketing. I mean, there's just so much potential when you clear yeah. that one trapped emotion, right? So we check for creative security, clear that out. We check for inherited. So maybe something you got from your mom or dad or ancestors, right? Yeah. You can even pick stuff up in the womb. We call that prenatal creative insecurity. Maybe your mom was feeling something and now it's yours. Like, no, you don't want to be living your, your parents' uh, vibrational yeah. patterns, right? Yeah. No. I'm smiling thinking about the client that I had uh, Wednesday and he was putting off doing his website and he's a oh. website guy. You know, the cobbler's Jeez. children have no shoes. He has been putting off his website and he's in, he goes, he goes, well, the heat's on. I got to get it done. And I'm in so much resistance. And he said, he goes, I'm launching my new, my new brand. And as soon as I heard that Q. Creative insecurity. Creative insecurity. So I said, so creative insecurity, just like you said, it's the insecurity to take the next step. And for him, it was a new, so I did a creative insecurity, holy S balls. <laughs> he said, within 10 minutes, he said, I started with the flip charts and the stickies. And he said, I got so much done. I was creative because it, it's also good for writer's block or designer's block. Yeah. And he just said, I got more done in two hours than I did in two months. Wow. Hashtag creative insecurity. But John, we had fun as always, and uh, can you let us know when the next two episodes are? Uh, we have a different schedule in the next couple of weeks. They yeah. are. Yeah, you can sign up for the for the notification too, so you'll get it a half hour before. But everyone, grab your pens. Uh, it's the 31st, so January 31st at 9 a.m. Pacific or 12 noon Eastern. That's a Thursday, so we're trying Thursday. Thursday morning, yeah. And then the week after is Wednesday, it's the 6th. So February 6th, and we're doing an uh, evening show. 
6 p.m. Pacific. Well, that'd be 9 p.m. on the East Coast. That's right. Yeah. And I think Sylvia or someone said what time that was. Uh, oh, they can let us know. Let your friends know if you're in the UK. 6 p.m. Pacific. You're probably in bed. Yeah. That's okay. You can catch us on the replay. Yeah, catch us if when you, you wake up. If you want to watch all the bro shows, we're up to episode, I'm just going to, 81. 81. Yeah. I oh, know. You can yeah. go to hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash bros, and you can get the playlist to YouTube from there, and there's lots to watch. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Well, John, thank you for hanging out with uh, me again today. We did a great job helping people. Hopefully, Anna will be able to give us an update, anything that she's noticed. And what she might notice is like meeting people or people curious about what she does or get an email inquire or, or maybe even an opportunity to go talk to a group of people or something. So Yeah, and more ideal prospects, you know, more like-minded people coming your way. Absolutely. Yeah, a great way to... Um, yeah, to wrap Let's, up this this uh, okay, relationship John. series, yeah. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, we did. And today was a relationship between the practitioner and the prospect. Okay, everybody, let's say goodbye. And uh, if you're watching the program after the live, uh, we still like to have your comments, and we'll check them out and respond to them. See you later, everybody. Cheers. Have a great day.